Evers to propose changes to medical and recreational marijuana law, submerged semi found in Mirror Lake, Vinehouse home destroyed by fire. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Monday, February 18th, 2019. Sources close to the Tony Evers administration say the Democratic governor is planning to take steps toward decriminalizing marijuana as part of his proposed state budget. The Wisconsin State Journal reports the proposal would include allowing residents who have pre previously been convicted of possessing small amounts of their drug to have their records erased. Additionally, Evers would put the state on track to legalize marijuana for medical purposes, such as those going through cancer treatments or those dealing with PTSD. Marijuana products designed to treat seizure disorders would also become available without a doctor's certification. Evers' proposed budget will roll out on February 28th. State Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald who has long been against the legalization of medical marijuana, says he is not sure the law could pass his chamber. Officials in Sauk County are investigating a bizarre accident involving a submerged semi in Mirror Lake. The Wisconsin State Patrol says a damaged quadro will, was found along on Sunday morning along Interstate 9094, officers allowed, followed the tire tracks which led them to the submerged vehicle. As of Sunday evening, the rig and one victim have been recovered from the water and officials say a second person may still be missing. Due to poor visibility, the search effort for the second individual has been suspended and will resume this morning. And the DNR assisted the efforts because of a diesel fuel spill and further details including who owns the rig and the name of the driver have not yet been released. The home of former State Senator Kathleen Vinehout in Elma was destroyed by fire on Saturday. The Buffalo County Sheriff's Department says the cause is still under investigation and more information may be released on Monday or Tuesday. The structure is a total loss and Vinehout posted a message saying she and her family are safe, but all of their possessions were destroyed. A post on Vinehout's Facebook page says, please keep Kathleen, Doug, and Nathan in your thoughts and prayers in this difficult time. A fundraising page was set up by Eau Claire City Council Acting President Andrew Worthman. He used to work in Vinehout's office and campaigned for her during her run for governor. Two Milwaukee County Sheriff's deputies are recovering from minor injuries after a wreck near Ozaki County line. A car slid off of the road and smashed into the deputy's car Sunday morning along I-43 at Port Washington Road. One deputy was treated and released from the hospital and the other was treated at the scene. There was a civilian being transported in the squad car and they were not injured. Milwaukee County Sheriff says that the crash is a reminder to slow down when the roads are slick. The other driver was ticketed for going too fast for conditions. A group of state legislators wants to get rid of the five county sales tax for Miller Park. State Senator Van Wagard says the people of Southeast Wisconsin have paid enough to upkeep at the stadium and he'd like to see it all ended by the end of the year. I have had so many constituents come to me and say, when is this going to be over? 
Well, this bill that we have introduced that we are putting forward will end that by December 31st of this year. Wangard says residents have paid out more than half a billion dollars in sales tax since the tax went into effect 22 years ago. The Open for Business signs promoted by former Governor Scott Walker have been replaced. New Governor Tony Evers says the new signs will say, Wisconsin welcomes you. Walker had the Wisconsin DOT replace former Governor Jim Doyle's name with the Open for Business message on 27 signs at the border across between Wisconsin and Illinois. It was widely seen as a dig at high taxes in neighboring states, and the old signs will now be used as detour signs. The signs would be used for detours and directions in emergency situations, and a letter from Evers said the signs will be cut in half with no material wasted. And that is our report for today. Join me again next time for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.